Yes. One of the most, you know, the last sacred places we have on this earth. Let's not in, yep. in fact Antarctica, because that's going to be another one of my hideouts. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. when push comes to show. <laughs> All right, Lizzie. You came across some more nonsense this week. Lil Nas X Old Town Road fame is Man, trending. I didn't come I didn't come across this. This story found me and wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> truth lies and shenanigans. It is truth and shenanigans, but more shenanigans. So Lil Nas X, rapper Lil Nas X, um, of the Old Town Road fame. Remember Old Town Road? Let's use rapper loosely. We we'll use rapper. How was he not? He's an artist. He's a rapper, singer, a person, loose duo, entertainer. Not a rapper. Entertainer. I go with. Entertainer. Yeah, entertainer. I would. Yeah, he I take he that. Raps, he? I mean, if you want to call it that, yeah. I guess. So why wouldn't you call it that? Because <laughs> it's I not old school. Neil's not buying it. These labels, man. These labels. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Robbie, so next time we're going to get on, so you're not a musician. You're not a guitar player. Some people feel um, that a rapper. Me. No, no, no I'm, not, I'm not a rapper. You are legit. I can. Legit, yeah, you are legit. legit. You are legit. Robbie. Um, but Lil, uh, Lil Nas X um, of the <laughs> Old Town Road fame, which was a huge hit huge. two years ago. Um, but even at that time, there was some resistance to him, you know, country music, America didn't want him because one he was black let's call a spade a spade again but also they said that his um genre of music wasn't country um but also there was a when once he came out as homosexual there was a huge pushback and he'd been kind of eh, you know hyping up to his next surprise for us if you will so this week Lil Nas X decided that he was going to partner with this company in Brooklyn, New York to hype his latest single, latest video, I think it's called Montero, um, which has a lot of satanic themes, a lot of themes with the devil, whatever. But he also partnered with this company to create a Satan shoe. Satan shoe that cost $1,018. A Satan shoe which was based off of a Nike prototype. So what they did was <clears throat> they bought a Nike shoe and they customized it. So this is not a shoe that was approved by Nike or what have you. And if you if you are a sneakerhead, if you will, if you are into sneaker resales, there are tons of customized shoes. Mm -hmm. I have two pair. I have tons of pairs of legitimate Nikes, but I also have two pair of altered Nikes. You could customize it to anything you want. They decided to customize it in the name of the devil, in the name of Satan, in the name of Lucifer. There's a pentagram, <laughs> there's a 666 or whatever. And so before I even knew what this, I, I didn't know when the story hit me, I didn't know what it was about. I don't listen to Lil Nas X, even though I buy that he's a rapper. I don't like his music, but he's a, do you, he's a country bruh? music star. What are you talking about? Do you, bruh? <laughs> but then I saw all of this nonsense. He's a pop like, star. What? what? We got Satan shoes now? Oh my God, we are worshiping the devil? Okay. I mean, I remember Black Sabbath. I remember all of, you know, the people who use devil 666 in their musicians who use the devil or use references to the devil um in their marketing y'all remember three six mafia the rappers mm -hmm. they acknowledged that yep. the 666 was about satanism they purposely it wasn't you know oh some underground wing no dj paul from three six mafia said i rapped about satan that was supposed to be my image back then so this threw people for a loop um, you had NBA players calling Lil Nas X out. Of course, you had the Republicans and the religious right Lil N calling Lil Nas X out, but also the black community because, you know, black folks love them some Jesus. <laughs> they love religion. And this was an affront. This was offensive to everything they stood for. So my question to the panel, did it offend you? And also the shoes included um blood a drop one drop blood. A, single drop. A, a drop a drop of blood, blood in the manufacturer yeah i, I mean, but, you know, but but listen 
um, Angelina used to walk around with blood in a little vial that she had around her yeah. neck. So it was why, weird. Why would she it did. About blood? Apparently, the blood was from the employees of the the, the modified shoe company. Whoever the company that modified the, uh, the shoe. So, what do you guys think? Did it offend you? Offend me? Any of it? Let's let's start with Johnny Storm. I want Johnny Storm. Um, it didn't personally even... offend me. But also, Gianni, it didn't personally. You're in Atlanta, Sorry. so also give us if it offended you. But also, what were people saying in Atlanta? Yeah, that's that. That was a that's a good question actually, because um, me personally, no, it didn't offend. Um, I don't. It did. It just didn't. I, I did have a religious background, as you guys know, as a Jehovah's Witness. Of course, it would naturally offend religious people. Um, but spiritual people, I don't think it would really, it shouldn't offend anyway. But um, the, I do want to get to the question you asked about the people in Atlanta, because there is a heavy LGBTQ plus community out here. So some people, um, a lot of the LGBTQ plus felt like they understood him because I think that something he said was people already demonize who I am. So you know what? I'll take that. I'll be that and make the best of it. So with that being said, a lot of the people um, supported him. A lot of, you know, uh, LGBTQ plus people supported him and felt where he was coming from. They understood why he was twerking on the devil and then snapped his neck and became the devil. Like they understood the, the symbolism devil, in it. Yeah, he, he was, he was really wilding. <laughs> He was going crazy. He was really going crazy. So, but I understand also why people, and this is what me and Robin Liz were talking about earlier, um, about why Christians or why religious people would feel offended. Because I thought, well, isn't this? It's kind of like taking the Bible and like pooping on it or something, like doing something disrespectful to like, or like the flag, the American flag, and burning it for no reason, like something like that. Um, but as we spoke about it, it's like those like the the uh, symbolism isn't actually christian basically it's been here before christianity and a lot of these religions and the, the religion just adopted them so really they have no reason to be offended um but i personally am not offended I, i'm not gonna say it's my favorite video but i mean it's an ugly the devil's ugly i was i had nightmares as a kid about the devil in that place and stuff like that <laughs> Well, the shoe sold out in 60 seconds. Yeah. The shoe sold out in 60 seconds, but now the shoe, so Nike is now suing the manufacturer or the, the company that alters the shoes and also suing Lil Nas X. And yeah. They got an injunction yeah. from the courts so that. But people have been altering. Right now, people have been altering but, Nike right, shoes for decades but, forever but mostly, yeah. but mostly it's a little bit different than this because mostly people alter nike shoes on a personal level they're not selling them they're no not there's selling, people that are selling uh, altered nike shoes matter no, of fact this wasn't even but, their first shoe but no no mischief does this yeah. to that degree if you're, if you're talking about the jesus shoe no one knew about the jesus shoe that nike had months ago that was some under underground. Well, it wasn't Nike. It was someone altered a, G, a shoe and called it a Jesus shoe. But that was on some underground level. But this was a marketing campaign. Most shoes that are off altered like this don't yeah. have an all a, a campaign. Nike's been letting people do this for decades, and the There's reason Nike people. lets them do it is because of the, it creates a secondary market. Which makes their also, shoes you, premium. Oh also, yeah, you, and so they make, okay. a, but, um, they make a they make a killing. You also, but you also can't you can't guard you can't police someone altering a shoe. They would be you in the can because it, you can in, in the sense that it, it affects their trademark. But, but not a company, but not as frequently as it, as it is done. Right, that's the problem. Because they would be in litigation all day. Again, that's what I'm saying. The problem, right. The problem for Nike was. This was a pop star. This was a rap star who aligned with the company, who aligned with the company to alter their shoe that people thought they were devil worshipers. Yeah. I don't they know that. Yes. Oh, I'm yes, curious to yeah. see where this goes, actually, because like I said, they've like been doing definitely. this for years and Nike has made a killing but, because but people came out, but people came out and said they were devil. They like this was a bad. PR yeah, I, I'm not talking about that, though. 
Mm. is different from Colin Kaepernick because the Colin Kaepernick shoe was Nike's idea. This was not Nike's idea. And they have the right to say, okay, that's, that's not what I'm talking you're not going to do this to our name. You're not going to do this to our name. Yeah, I mean, and they had, that's why I'm curious to see where this goes because, like I said, Nike has been doing this for years, years, allowing people to do this and make a mark, doing exactly what they've done. Matter of fact, like I said, this wasn't even their first shoe. This particular company has done it multiple times prior to this shoe and made but and money off it. Shoe. But let me just finish but my thought. Let me just. Let me just how well did they market it though? Let me just finish. How, the how much publicity did they get? Let me just finish the thought. That, that's the key. Can I just that's the, the key? Thought? No, you can't. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> All I'm saying is that Nike has allowed it and they have allowed it. And there are people who've marketed it and they've marketed it and all that stuff. All I'm saying is they've allowed it. And what it does, it creates a premium for Nike shoes. And Nike has made a lot of money being a premium shoe company. So as long as they continuously are, pre so, so they're happy that they've been happy that people will modify their shoes and make it because it shows their logo all the time. They, they go on, but what they're they go on saying Instagram is, and they go on TikTok and they're showing their. What they're saying is this is not going to make us money. What they're saying is we've had. Yeah, but you, that's the problem. They're picking and choosing. But they're allowed mm -hmm. to. It's their shoe. And what they're saying is, is that this has affected us negatively. The other shoes didn't. This did. They've had big right. time after. But they have made a killing had, off of that positive but stuff. Big, but what you're not getting is. And the negative and one, because like you said, it sold out. But but they don't get any money from it selling out. That, right, Robbie, you got to get in here real quick. We're that's out of time. Good. That's true. No, let me finish. They had athletes who, have, who are threatening to pull out of contract. With yeah. Nike, as a result of this, and that's not—it's hurting their name, to. their brand. They have every yeah. right to say copyright infringement and stop it, stop it, stop it. Especially I'm just curious what the press is. Yeah, of, be... of, of no, I, I, I get what you're saying, Neo. Where Nike's playing it both way, where it's right. being played both ways. But they are. As as far as whether the sh I found the shoe offensive. No, that's a kick-ass looking shoe. There's Look a nice at shoe. it. No, that's no. a beautiful. No, I like this. Shoe. And for myself, I, as a musician, something that looks pretty badass, kick-ass, and is comfortable, I would wear that on stage. Hell yes, I would, because it's iconography <laughs> that lends itself well to heavy music that I enjoy playing. But it's just iconography, and it's only as powerful as we let it to be. The pentagram is an ancient symbol that predates Christianity by thousands of years. It was appropriated by Christians and that it represents the five wounds of Jesus. And now because of uh, Wiccan, just in, in more modern times, it has been attributed to devil worship. And it never, ever was. The drop of blood, big deal. It's, it's a kick-ass yeah, looking blood. shoe. If that's it. Like it really, it's it's a it really is an impressive like looking shoe. I like it. <laughs> I wouldn't spend a thousand dollars on it. I didn't think because you know, as we were promoting this show, <laughs> is Lizzie, you know, getting the Satan shoe? Hell no. I have a closet full of Nikes. Okay, I like more than I care to count. Probably <laughs> more than you care to count. Much. If you will, I'm gonna tell on that, shoe was, <laughs> that shoe was not cute to me. Like if it was a cute shoe. If it, and notice they didn't pick a Jordan brand shoe, by the way, because <laughs> Michael Jordan would not have any of Would this. not have that. Yeah, no. Jordan brand shoe. They picked a, a kind of an I've ambiguous. I've seen people do brand, um, Jordans. Will. I've seen people modify Jordan. No, what I'm saying show. is they didn't pick a Jordan brand to put 666 blood in it and call yeah. it a sand yeah, no. shoe. But they we're talking that. about it. 50 million people have watched the music video. Uh, how many times have we said the word Nike? He is lashing right. out. He is lashing back at those that attacked him. So, okay, you want to demonize me? All right, I'm coming back to you but with Nike, the Christian always, devil. Aha! Nike is Suck always going to be a this. Nike, one, Nike has a right to protect their brand, but Nike is right always going to be okay in this. Lil Nas X might not be. Because if he loses the lawsuit against Nike, I don't but know how much not, money he, they're not they're not suing him. They're only suing the company. From what I read, but then the company, but then the company can extract money that they've paid to him for this shoe. Depends on to the cover company. what Nike is getting from them. 
on the then, contract. Has he lost people? Because again, people are are not just taking on the idea of, you know, he's promoting Satanism, if you will, but they're going back to the anti-homophobia and he has ruffled a lot of feathers in the aftermath of this. So the question becomes, does this benefit him in the long run? Does this benefit I, Mike Wolf him? Was, yeah, Mike Wolf made a true. brilliant comment about this. Anyone who does feel offended by this needs to check their values. They really should be more appalled and offended by Nike's labor policies, their labor practices yeah. historically. Labor. And labor. Going. Oh, uh, labor. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to be offended about something, let's be offended about what's real. We have real world examples. We know what's going on as opposed to what might offend my sensitivities. No, let's take care of the people first. Well, I mean, if we're going to be offended by, and this will be my, people... my devil's advocate, if we're going to be offended by my by Nike and their, you know, um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to close this down. This is the last part. Last part. If we're gonna be offended by Nike, then we have to be offended by every single apparel com apparel company that we're wearing right now. Unless you make it a point, yeah, not to wear a company that is producing their products. Some people do. Overseas. I'm talking yeah. about us and the majority, and the including the people who yeah. are butthurt over this. Like Rob said, including the people who are butthurt over this. Like you can't be mad at Nike and I think not he's be making mad you at laugh. Sorry, guys. Kevin ain't nobody. Don't listen to him. Um, <laughs> he ain't nobody. Um, oh my God, Kevin. We gotta be. We gotta be. We gotta saying? be consistent with it. All right. We gotta be consistent. With it. Right, let me get. Let me get to these comments. So Jazzy Jono's on TikTok. Love the comments, Jazzy. Uh, so he's, the, the video is whack as fuck. I haven't, yeah. even seen the, I haven't even seen the video. <laughs> and and uh, he also says, those are my favorite pair of shoes. Uh, he has three. Uh, minus the blood, he three? says. Um, Who has three? Well, that's, minus that, uh, the blood. Jazzy so six. the shoe style. Shoe, yeah, the shoe style. <laughs> minus to, the blood. We're going to have to compare shoe collections because I guarantee you I have some better looking Nikes, <laughs> some better looking kicks than those. And, 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 well, and, uh, Kevin Thacker said, kids need to work, lazy little human. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that means he's in, that means he's in support of Nike slave labor. That's Nike what he was saying. Slave yeah. labor. He's joking though. But uh, <laughs> Olivia says I'm not offended, but the shoes look like trash. Chick Fil A ones look uh, better. Oh yeah, I don't like those either. But uh, Kevin also said the pole dancing. Yeah, 